Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in the previous session, we have seen the super keyword, the usage of super keyword in Java. In this session, we will see the runtime polymorphism that is method overriding. Right. The name itself indicates method overriding. Overriding means writing the same method in different way. Right. So for this, this will be in implemented in inheritance with the help of inheritance. Right. We know that inheritance means there will be one super class, and from this super class. subclass will extends the properties right so this subclass can acquire the properties that means can access the methods of a superclass right so here overriding means whatever the method we are writing in superclass right for example we are writing the method display in this superclass and the same method will be written here also here also we will write the same method so, in the absence of this one, directly by creating an object for this subclass that can access the method of a superclass, right? So, for example, if you create an object for this subclass, object dot display will automatically it will access this display method. Now the question is overriding. That means subclass. That means a child class is overriding the method which is written in superclass. So here we are writing the display function, right? The same display method is overrided by the subclass. So again, the same method has been written here. Now, if you execute this one, object.display, automatically the object belongs to the subclass. So the display function which is written in subclass will be executed. Hope you understood, right? So in the absence of display function in subclass, the superclass display function will be executed. If you write the same display function in both the superclass and the subclass, the first preference will be goes to the subclass method. Right? Now the question is, why this overriding? So in the inheritance concept, we know that the child can access the method written in superclass. But if the child is not uh, satisfied with the implementation of that particular method which is written in superclass then the child can override the same method in the child class hope you understood right so if the child is not satisfied with the method which is written in superclass then the child can override the method and can rewrite that method in subclass that means a child class so here the main constraint is first thing the inheritance concept is needed second thing both the methods must have the same name third thing both the methods must have the same return type the fourth thing the same the both the methods should have the same scope if we write that method as a public we have, we have to write this child class method also as a public so there must be no difference in anything, right? That's why we call it as a overriding. So one more constraint, if these are the static methods, so those static methods cannot be overrided, right? Any method can be overrided, but if that method is a static method, that method cannot be overrided. Second thing, if the method is declared as a final, we cannot override the method in child class. So final keyword, which we have seen in uh, keyword section, right? So if the method is declared as a final in the super class, that method cannot be overridden by the subclass, right? So hope you understood this one. 
just we will write a simple program so that your your doubt will be clarified right see first i will write the uh, information so this will be implemented with the help of inheritance next method name should be same in both superclass and subclass similarly return type as well as the scope as well as parameters should be same in both the superclass and subclass next methods declared as final cannot be overridden similarly the static methods static methods can not be overridden right we need to get uh, take care about all these things so inheritance and the method name return type and scope and parameters should be same in both superclass and a subclass and finally the methods of declared as a final cannot be overridden and the static methods cannot be overridden right now let us see the implementation part let us write a small program so i am writing a class parent here I am writing uh, the display function. The display system dot out dot print ln parent. Right now, I am again writing the class child, which extends the parents. So extends. To is to implement the inheritance extends the parent so child can can access the methods of a parent void display again i am writing the same thing system dot out dot print ln child here i am writing the main function Class override public static void main string args arguments. Now I will create an object for a child. So child c is equal to some new child. Right. So if I access c dot display, what is the output here? C dot display. First, it will check for the child, and then it will go for the parent. Right. So here, both the parent and child both are having the same method, display method. Right. So both are having the same name. Both are having the same name, same parameters, same scope, same return type. So this is called a overriding. So child class is overriding method of a parent class. Now, if you access this one, C dot display, child will be printed. The output will be child. And if in the absence of this one, if this method is not written here, then automatically 
parent will be the output directly it will access the method of a parent right and if you want to display both the things that means i want to display this one as well as i want to execute this method also then we have to use the super method which we have discussed in the previous session right so super method is used to access the immediate variables inter i mean instance variables and the methods of a immediate parent right so here the child parent the child's parent is parent class so in order to access this method in the super subclass we have to use a super keyword so here you can write super dot display so automatically first this will be executed and then the child uh, this this statement will be executed the output will be parent and child if if this display is a final the method is declared as a final that cannot be overrided by the child or it, 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 if it is a static that can all be overrided by the child so why the child is overriding means if the subclass is not satisfied with the implementation of the method which is written in super class the child can able to override the method according to the child's convenience right Hope you understood. So we will stop here. Let us see this program implementing in the Java compiler. Hello friends. So just now we have seen the method overriding concept. Now let us implement. So in order to implement this method overriding there should be an inheritance concept so that means the method will be overrided in between two different classes right let us create a one class class parent and let us write one method void display parent method right let us uh, create one subclass which extends parent A class child extends parent so that here also we will write it, uh, the same thing the method void display println child method right so here we are creating two different classes one is a super class another one is a subclass so here we know that the child which extends the parent can access the methods and variables of a parent so here overriding means as we have discussed just now the method should be same the method name should be same the return type should be same the scope is, should be same as well as the parameters should be same so then only we call it as a overrided here the parent method is overrided by the uh, sorry yeah parent method is overrided by the child right let us create a, a main function class override see here in order to access the methods of a class we need to create an object so just i will create an object for a child so child obj is equal to new child right so if you <coughs> access the method display what will be displayed here 
see i will just save it right now let us uh, execute that one java c dot java yes successfully compiled again i am executing this one java override so child method so the method display of a child class is executed because here the object is here. but here question is the method of a parent is also having the same name so here the method is uh, method of a parent is also having same name so here why we call it as an overriding because if we write any method in a parent that can be accessed by the child right so if child is not satisfied with the implementation of that method which is written in a parent then the child can override the method according to the child's convenience right so that's why here the return type the parameters as well as the scope must be same for both the child method and a parent method then only we call it as an overriding so in the absence of this method in the child see here i am just giving a comment for the method which is written in a child and now let us execute this one so there is only one method that is available in parent so parent method is executed right so here object dot display obviously it go for the display method which is written in parent if the child is also having the same name then the first preference will be gone to the child method right if you want to access the parent method also one thing is create a one object here create one object and through the object call the function see child method or parent method so in order to access the method which is written in parent we have to create an object for the parent and through the parent object we can access the method or else by using the super keyword we can access so here we can write super keyword super dot display so as we have discussed in the previous session the super keyword is used to uh, access the methods or variables of a parent class in the child class if both are sharing the same name now let us see i just put the comment on parent object and uh, i am using the super keyword in the child method so it will execute both words parent method and child method right hope you understood this one this is a very simple thing so this is called a overriding technique so why we are overriding means if child doesn't satisfy the implementation of a parent method then the child can override that method according to the child's convenience right so this is called the runtime polymorphism so we have discussed in a whoops concept there is a polymorphism so this is called a runtime polymorphism so in the previous sessions we have seen the overloading concept that is called compile time polymorphism and also that is called as a static binding and this is called as dynamic binding right so let us stop here hope you understood this one so if you are having any doubts regarding this uh, the java concepts feel free to post your doubts in the comment section so that i will definitely try to clarify all your doubts and if you really understood my sessions like my sessions share my sessions with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel thank you for watching thank you very much